All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to teach y'all how to install, put on a crosshair for 5M. This can work with GTA as well, like in general, the same way you would do it for 5M. It's the same way you would do it for GTA. So basically, what you want to do is, let's say you already have your crosshair or you want a crosshair, you're looking for a crosshair. You want to come to my Discord server and you want to scroll down to crosshairs. And this will show you all the crosshairs that we have. You can download one of these. Um, and as you download it, let's just say I want to use this. So we're going to save that, but it might show up as another thing. You want to basically rename this layer. Make sure it says layer and layer only, not layer one, not layer two, none of the extra stuff. Go ahead, save or press enter. You're good to exit Discord. And then you want to go to your 5M application data. Once you get to your 5M application data, you want to go to your plugins folder. That's where you have your reshade at. If you don't have your reshade installed or on, then make sure you install it. You can follow my tutorial on my channel. I recently released a video that teaches you how to do that. So you can do that, but it should be in your plugins folder, all your reshade files. I don't mind this extra stuff. All of these, these are just screenshots where it says reshade shaders at the top. You can also do this in your GTA five main directory where it says reshade shaders. Uh, but you're going to do the same thing over here in your 5M plugins folder. Under reshade shaders, you're going to go into it. And under textures, not shaders, but textures, uh, you'll have a, a bunch of these files right here. And one of these are named layer. I don't know where it's. Oh, it's right here. This is the crosshair. You can go to your downloads as you can see here. So I have my downloads. I have my layers right here. You want to drag that up. Let's drag into a corner right here. Make sure it's in like a little space. So whereas though it doesn't like override anything like that. And then once you do that, it'll say replace the file. Go ahead, replace that. And then that's the new crosshair that you'll have in your reshade. So now that you're good with that, you can exit out of all that. You can go to your 5M. Again, this is assuming that you have reshade and everything installed properly. This is all you got to do. It's a very simple thing to do. What you guys want to do is join the server. As you can see, I'm joining the server right now. Here you are. We are in the server right now. I turned my settings all the way down. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I turned my settings down for a lot of stuff, but not everything. Basically, what you want to do is go to your home button, obviously. Um, and I'm just going to look up layer. You can do this with any preset. You can go on any preset that you want. I got a ton of presets, but basically go on whatever preset that you want. Type in layer in this little search bar where it says search. Type in layer and click it. Boom. As you can see, it might show up super huge, might show up super small, whatnot. Uh, but yeah, layer scale, as you can see, it's way too big. So you want to, it's like a little scale with the mouse thing that you can use. You can make it super huge. You can make it super low. Just tap this bar and then put the value at whatever you want, or you can just type it in, you know? Um, so I can't say exactly the value that I recommend for each crosshair because it's completely different the way it shows up on your screen, small as you want it. I think this is good. You can play around with this value and stuff and how you, how big you want to make it. Like it's a certain way you can't make, you can't change the width of it. You can only change the scale size of it. Both of these layer positions are supposed to be at 0 0.500. Always keep it like that. That's where your crosshair is at. So you're able to shoot people. But yeah, you can make this as big as you want. And I, I mean, that's pretty much how you do it, bro. Pretty much how you do it. But yeah, yeah. That's that's basically how you add your crosshair. You know, you can see I, I still got my other crosshair on. So but yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, uh, drop a subscription, join the Discord, check out the Patreon. All links are in the description. I appreciate y'all. Have a good one.